Good morning. I'm headed to work right now. It's 9.50 in the morning. And I just wanted to come and do a vlog. I don't know if I'll continue this later or not, but it's been a minute since I did a vlog. So I like to come back and connect with my YouTube fam. Uh, so let's pick up from the last vlog. I think on my last one, um, On my last vlog, um, I really wasn't feeling all that well. You know, my spirits was kind of low and stuff. And um, since then, um, we, me and my friend, we had took the kids to go swimming. If you follow me on Snapchat, you had already seen those snaps where we had went swimming. I had on, oh, I think I, I actually already did a vlog of that. Okay, yeah, I already, and I had inserted pictures at the end of that vlog. Yeah, we took the kids swimming and stuff. And, um... Let me see, since then, since then, it was some stuff I was gonna talk about and I just went blank. But let me tell y'all about two or three days ago what happened at work. So if you be following my blog, my vlogs regularly, y'all know about the little old man, the little pedophile, cause that's what I'm gonna call him. And when you sexually harass somebody, you a pedophile. So, Okay, so I told y'all the last time what he said and I had went to management about the issue and management had told me that when I see him in there next time to notify them. Okay, but how they got the whole street blocked though? It's a truck. Oh, he don't know how to get out. Okay, so I can't even get by. Let me show y'all what's going on. So y'all be like, what's going on with Sweet Sparkle? You see this? Yeah, he got the whole street blocks. He got the whole street blocks. And he's trying to he's trying to get turn around and get because it's an underpass and he can't go under the underpass. But anyway, see that got me distracted. What I'm talking about? Um so management had told me to notify them immediately when he came back in there look the police behind me i'm sorry y'all i'm like really trying to see what's going on here <laughs> i can't get by i literally cannot get by oh that man helped him let me show y'all what's going on he just now finna turn around and see, I can't get back because there's traffic coming. Anyway, let me get to my story, honey, because my attention span already shut. Um, To make a long story short, because I'm getting distracted. The man came in there again. He came in there again. Okay, so usually, I don't even see him come in the store. Like, he just pops up out of nowhere, like behind me and be whispering in my ear, okay? So I'm, I'm taking care of a customer and I see him walking this way and like my heart just started like my adrenaline, my adrenaline just started rushing like crazy. And I just walked off from my customer that I was taking care of and I went to look for a supervisor. Like I didn't even explain like, ma'am, I'll be right back. I just walked off cause I didn't want him coming saying nothing to me. So, okay, I went and got my supervisor he went, he went to the bathroom. Cause like while I was working, it's like right across from the bathroom. So he slid his little stuff in the bathroom. I think what he was trying to do is trying to wait till I didn't have no customers. Then he was gonna come over there and say something to me. Cause he, he's never approached me when people are around. He always waits till I don't have nobody. Okay, so he done went in the bathroom and I was letting him know, I'm like, he got a white and blue striped shirt on. He, he got glasses. I'm like describing him. So when he come out the bathroom, y'all know who to look for or whatever. So then my supervisor, she she puts me, um, she took me in the cash office or whatever. And he came out the bathroom and that's how he was. And then they contacted the, the uh, one of the hire managers up and they told me to stay over there in customer service because I know how to work customer service. So they told me to work customer service for a minute. And if he comes over there to notify them and they were going to give him a some kind of citation where he can't come into the store anymore or whatever. 
But to make a long story short, he didn't come over there to customer service because there was people over there, obviously. So, you know, I didn't have to deal with him this time. But what about next time when he comes in there and I don't have a customer and I don't see him and he just pops up behind me, then what? And like, is management gonna get up there in enough time to where y'all see who he is so y'all can do what y'all need to do? Because I feel like, I feel like he needs to have a um a blockage from the store already. Whatever, whatever kind of citation they can give you and block you from even coming in the store, or you'll get arrested or whatever. But um, that's what happened last time. He came in looking for me because I I saw him and I contacted my management and they basically put me up there at customer service. And he didn't come up there because there was there's always a line in customer service. So that's what happened on that. I really don't know how to handle the situation or whatever. Because I started feeling some type of way last time. I started feeling like they should have went back and looked at the cameras. And um, pulled his, his um, picture up and saw who he was. And maybe even like the car he was getting in going out into the parking lot i feel like they could have did a little bit more so i started feeling some type of way like well when he come in here next time am i gonna have to call the police because i don't know i just feel like management could be doing a little bit more i mean and then again i don't know how much more they can do until he like does it again or is it something they can do before then but I feel like they should have pulled the cameras and saw who this guy was what kind of car he was driving and all that kind of stuff but, um, you know, I, I started feeling like I needed to call the police and just forget management just straight up. You know, I, I was, I like ran the whole scenario in my head, y'all. No kidding. I was like, okay, so when he coming here again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to take my phone out and take his picture. There's more traffic. I'm, I'm not understanding what's happening today. There's like a lot of traffic. So I'm like, I'm just gonna take my phone out and take his picture, basically. And then I'm gonna call the cops and get him the picture of him. Hang on, y'all. It's like a whole bunch of traffic going on. And um let me get let me get up this hill right quick because I don't know if it's a wreck on the freeway. Cause I let's see. Hang on, let me pause this. Okay, I'm back. It was like a whole bunch of traffic. Okay, so that's that situation or whatever. And then also over the last few days, EJ went to his first dentist appointment. Um, I took a picture on Snapchat and put it on there. But he had his first little dentist appointment. He's doing good and everything. And they talked to me about brushing and you know cutting out the bottles and stuff like that at night. And, all that good jazz and Omari he had his doc he had his dentist appointment the same day as well and um also I still gotta post baby EJ's pictures I actually have them on my phone and I haven't posted them yet I'll do that on Instagram if you follow me but um I'll probably post like three of the pictures that he took do y'all see all these cars over here like it's like if they're like almost at a standstill. I don't know what's going on. It's like a whole bunch of, like I'm just going, but then over here, the traffic coming back is like literally bagged up, literally. So I'm thinking it's an accident on the freeway. But anyways, oh gosh, I'm so distracted. Shout out to my subscribers, my old subscribers, my new subscribers. Shout out to everybody that follows me. Um, I just really enjoy interacting with you guys. Um, let's, I'm going to talk about my hair right quick. I feel like it was something else I wanted to talk about, though. Um, I did my relaxer updates, which that's up on my channel now. It's the video right before this one. And um, y'all already know that I'm working on my ends, the ends of my hair and stuff. And I just want to clarify, like, two things right quick that people that um um that like you know make when you make comments in the comment box I do read all of the comments and some um some people tell me like you know it seems like I'm stuck at a certain lane etc cetera, etc cetera. 
I mean, if this is the length that my hair is, it's, 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 it, it, I mean, it's what, whatever. Like, I just really don't even care about length anymore. Like, I don't know, I'm just feeling some type of way. Like, I don't care about length. Like, I just want to get my hair healthy. And plus, I've been going through a lot with my hair, so I need to focus on the health before the length. Because I know that my hair will get length after length after health comes so i've been going through postpartum shit and i've been going through I, color breakage i've been going through stress hormones like it's a lot of stuff that contributes to your hair not being at the optimal health and length that it should be so i'm not really worried about length it's not like i'm gonna win a million dollars if i reach mid back length or something so i really don't care about length i'm just trying to get the health of my hair in order and y'all already know that i'm working on the ends of my hair y'all already know that those of you who follow me know that so you know um and then another thing somebody was like you dyed your hair you dyed your hair again um uh, it's a semi-permanent i'm gonna explain it one more time semi-permanent is safe it's not a permanent hair dye the difference between permanent and semi-permanent permanent usually involves ammonia or a developer or a bleach or something like that okay and that's damaging semi-permanent is just a deposit only color it just it just basically stains your hair like a like you take a sharpie marker a sharpie you mark it on your skin it's gonna stain it, but every time you wash it, that, that Sharpie pen is gonna start disappearing. Same way with a semi-permanent. It just stains your hair. The more you wash it, it's gonna start disappearing. It's, it's no ammonia or bleach or developer or anything like that or whatever. But, um, what I've been talking for 12 minutes. I did a flexi ride on this. If you follow me on Snapchat, I showed the takedown on this flexi ride and I also showed the moisturizer that I use. I use the Pantene Gold Series. You know, Pantene has that new line out. I use that and it smells really good. Um, I put that on there and then I put some of my L'Oreal oil on there to seal the moisture in and I just put my purple flexi rides in and I did the takedown on Snapchat. So, I'm almost at work. Um, let me guys know how you are doing down in the comment section. I read all of my comments. All of my comments. All of my comments. I read them all. I may or may not continue this vlog when I get off of work. But, um, yeah. Talk to you guys later. Okay, so I'm leaving from work now and traffic is still really bagged up. When I was showing y'all how bagged up it was when I was coming up the mountain, now I'm going down the mountain and the traffic is just like bumper to bumper. So yeah, I'm pretty much stuck in traffic, but let me tell you about my work day. It went pretty well. Speaking of that creep, he came in today again. He came in today and when I seen him, I went and told my supervisors and they put me up there in customer service to work up there and you know he pretty much won't say nothing to me if people are around or customers are around but i don't know i just feel like something more should be done about that because he's in there pretty frequent but you know if he see that i don't have no customers then he'll come and try to talk to me and i don't like that but anyway i don't know let me let me let me know what y'all think about that situation. But I'm gonna move past that because. Oh wow, look at the freeway. No wonder. I'm up on the mountain. And can you see the side? Let me see. I don't think I can zoom in from here. Hang on. This is a beautiful view, ain't it? Like I'm up, I work up on the mountain, but I live down in the valley. Now nah, y'all can't see the freeway. It's bagged up. It's really bagged up. But this is what my view is looking like on the left and on the right it's just like a bunch of bushes and rocks and stuff but um my hair is this is what it's looking like at the work the curls have fallen a little more um i'm going to try i don't know if i want to try this or not i really don't even know like I said I was going to start trying to do my relaxers every six weeks instead of four weeks. 
but I don't know if that's really gonna work out or not. I'm not trying to stretch for no long amount of time. Like some people can stretch a really long time. The maximum I would want to stretch is six weeks for me personally, but really I like to relax it like. But it's like when I stretch for too long, I get I get really, really bad breakage and that'll just be something else to deal with. And then like when I actually do go to relax my hair and I'm trying to part it, like how you part in your hair and finna apply your relaxer, like I get so so much matting and so much tangling. And that's another reason why I don't like to wait too long because it's like going through the mats and tangles is just breaking it off right there. So I just, I don't know. I'll let y'all know if I stay on schedule or if I um, try to stretch to six weeks. And another reason, like when it's time for me to get a relaxer, I don't know if anybody else can relate, but my, my scalp gets like so itchy. Like I don't know. It's like my scalp knows that it's relaxer time because it itches me non-stop until I get a relaxer. And, um, you know, that leads to me scratching my scalp. And by the time I done scratched it to death and I get a relaxer, it's burning. So that's another reason why I don't like to wait too late because like I can't fight the urge to scratch my scalp. And then when I finally do relax my hair, I'm burning like because I done scratch them you know damage my scalp from scratching it so much but um yeah that's pretty much what's i've been doing i've been doing okay let me know how y'all been doing i just been hanging in there trying to do the best i can i have my good days and bad days just like everybody else um uh, one thing that i had to learn how to do now that I'm kind of like deep in the vlog because like the people who not really interested I try to leave all that in the front but like deep in the vlogs I try to like tell more personal stuff because most most like trolls and stuff have probably left the video by now but um I don't know like I just feel like okay I just feel like it's been two years and I'm just kind of ready for that special person to be in my life. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I've been, I've been doing pretty good, but it's like now I'm just ready and stuff. But the thing about me is I'm the type of woman that, um, which there's nothing wrong with, you know, however your style is but my style I just I wait okay what he doing wait a minute okay <laughs> people driving crazy gotta watch it but I personally like to wait until like people approach me and then I decide if I like you or not <laughs> but I mean if you see something you like go after it that's what some people say but that just ain't my style I don't I've just never been the type to chase a man like even if I really really like you like I can really 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 like you but um if you don't come at me I'm not gonna come at you like that's just maybe that's childish but that's just me because I feel like men are natural hunters. And so they're, if they like you, they're going to let you know. They're going to come at you or whatever. So, But anyway, that's just my personality style. I just don't like to chase a man. I wait today. Couldn't I? But it, it just seemed like the choices I've been making over the last few years, I just had to reevaluate that. And I'm like, the choices I've been making haven't been all that well. But at the same time, I don't blame myself because people put on a mask in the beginning of anything, in the beginning of somebody trying to talk to you, in the beginning of y'all dating, in the beginning of the relationship. Like, they put a mask on and you really see how they are once y'all get comfortable with each other and time has went by. And it's like, you know, by, by the time time has went by, you just deal with their, with their for lack of a better word, you deal with their crap because you, you're already like pretty much falling in love with them and stuff. But um, I don't know, I just have to do better and make better choices. Like, I don't know. And then what's crazy, the men that I like just shush out to the side or don't even pay no attention to them, 
it's probably like the really good men out there like the ones that we just don't even pay no attention to we just see them as a friend like you know what i'm saying I don't know why it's like that. I don't know. But I just have to reevaluate my situation. I just feel like like I'm just ready for somebody special to share share my life with and to share my experiences and, and things like that. That's that's kind of been on my mind here lately. Not that I'm just I'm not being needy. Like I don't need a man, but I wouldn't mind having a little friend or whatever. A little little friend you know you got to call them friends to y'all to y'all just really officially in a relationship because nowadays men be doing too much honey uh -uh -uh. it's my friend <laughs> but anyways yeah i'm almost at home and another thing i gotta do is um uh, i had to just take a long deep look at myself and i'm holding on to a lot of resentment that I should have been let go and I haven't let go of it and I don't know why I'm holding on to it for dear life like it's gonna change something or like it's gonna make somebody realize my worth or change my situation or something like that resentment that I'm holding on to feeling like I didn't get done right or this is not fair and you know this shouldn't be this way like just holding on to feelings of hurtfulness and like, I just, I really have to pray about letting that go because that, some days that really gets me in a bad mood and a bad vibe and I just, I can't, I can't keep, I gotta be the, as positive as I can and as upbeat as I can, especially for my children because I don't want to be all sad and depressed and down. Hey, boo-boo! <laughs> my baby, that my baby waiting on me. I would turn the camera around and show y'all, but I got my address up there and I ain't got time for that. <laughs> but anyway, I love you guys and I'll talk to y'all later. There's Omari. Mr. EJ.